You hungry? I'm starving. Maybe we should do another food review. One star or five star? I'm not sure yet. Hey, I have an idea. What? How about I choose the restaurant this time? Interesting. How about a guess that rating? Let's do it. Welcome to a brand new episode of My Not So Sure Life Choices. Today we're gonna have my mom choose a place on Yelp. We don't know the rating, we're gonna have to guess the rating. This was highly suggested in the comments, so we're just giving the people what they want. We're gonna have to guess through just us experiencing the food, the, 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 the atmosphere, the service, and we're gonna have to guess the rating and hopefully we'll be right. So we're gonna go through the reviews at the end of the video this time and we're gonna try the food in the beginning. So sure. choose a place and let us know an address and then let's go do this, shall we? Sick. Okay, so we got an address not too far from here. I don't, I don't know where it is. I don't have a name for this place. I literally just have an address. I'm gonna click it, we're gonna go, and we're gonna do this. I'm kind of nervous, man. Yeah, we should've like told her what kind of style of food we want. We're just going at this like full on. I see two places. It could either be Taj of India or a lunch, oh, it's gotta be Taj of India. I think we're eating Indian food today, Jake. I just hope it's five-star Indian food. I hope it's better than the Indian food we had last time. Oh my Oh, God. there's a Mexican cuisine right there, too. Oh, shoot, we gotta see. It's not Taj, either, because that's 8410. Korean, grandma's Korean barbecue? Um, Eight, where do you see that at? Eight four. That's it. Eight three eight four. We're eating Grandma Kim's Korean barbecue. This is actually quite exciting. I kind of like Korean, so <laughs> I really was not looking forward to Indian. Food. I was not looking forward. To, I just didn't want Indian food today, you know. Oh, thank you. Okay. Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. The vibe. Quiet. Nice. I walked by people while we're eating and their food looks good. Yo, can we just talk about the smell here? Because it smells bomb. It smells it bomb, yo. It smells like the most fresh, <laughs> beautiful Korean. I think my mom hooked this up. They have all these like Korean words. It's like people drawing on it. Your food oh, this is not Korean. amazing. I like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> it says, I love grandmas. I love grandmas. This is, I think it's a family oriented. It says, happy together. Which means this is a happy place. How, who do I have to pay to get up on that board, you know? I, like, I want a picture on that board. We're just trying to be as low-key as possible because we want to see how these people interact with their customers. Like, we want to really guess the rating, right? What the fuck is that? Oh, look, at they're doing renovations. They're trying to make the place even better than it already is. That's a good sign. Let's look at the menus, right? All right, so this is what we're working with. Let's see what kind of food we got here. Prices, um, they look pretty decent. Small. $13, large, 20 bucks, and that's for like a full plate of fajitas. So, fajitas? Are we at Mexican restaurant, bro? What are they? It's like a fajita plate. It's called the Bulogu. Don't be disrespectful to other people's cultures. We're not eating Mexican. I just assumed a hot platter with some meat on it is a fajita, okay? Sorry, I'm Mexican. You've never been here. You've never been here. Uh, so like, um, the bulgogi is a popular one. The barbecue, spicy barbecue pork is a popular one. What about the seafood bibimbap? Mm -hmm. How is that? It's um, better rice with sauteed shrimp, squid, and then vegetables. Mm. Okay, let's, let's grab that. that. All right, let's get, like, two Sephora's. More lunch. <laughs> All right, you know what time it is. You're back here with Jake Taylor, and this is your bathroom review. First off, I love when a bathroom has a urinal in it because it kind of just makes things easier. You go to public restrooms, there's a urinal, just stand and go, you know. Trash can, no trash bag in it, is what it is. Toilet, is what it is. I always love when they have this, but it's Spanish. So it makes no sense because we're in a Korean restaurant and this is Spanish. But I'm pretty sure that says like, please wash your hands. You're, if you're a cook, like you must wash your hands, like all like the ordinance. But it just doesn't make sense why it's Spanish. And we're in a Korean barbecue restaurant. Still a favorite thing, urinal, applaud that. I'll give this bathroom. Compared to all the other restaurants you've been to, I'll give it like a 2.5. It's fair, doesn't smell, nothing on the floor, nothing leaking, it is what it is. Hey, Blythe. So let's first talk about the food presentation. 
So this is the barbecue chicken. What do you think about it? It looks really good. It looks pretty good. It looks really seasoned. Uh, the soup, which is the ramen soup, looks a lot of soup. It looks a lot of soup. Uh, how much was the soup? We didn't even really check that. We'll have to look at the price at the end and discuss it. Yeah, because this soup looks really good, and it's a lot of it. Like, this, these portions are very big. Like, this is perfect for you. This is perfect for me. This is definitely a share because if you come in here ordering this big ass soup and you just sit and see if that's a big yeah. soup. But let's let's go on some taste tests, shall we? Cool. I still think we're in the forest right now. In the cool. presentation of the food. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, definitely. So you try first. All right, spicy pork. Spicy pork. I thought it was chicken. It's definitely chewy, but not in a bad way. Like it just a, tastes like when you go to like a Korean barbecue place. Bitch, what? Let the master come into play here, shall we? Okay, when you look at it, you think it might be a little hard. Not hard, not crispy. There isn't a whole lot of flavor in this. No, but the, it, it's a little kicky. Like it's it a little, little kicky. Spice. It has a little spice, but I was expecting it to have like a lot of flavor because it looks like it's very seasoned. It's good. I just expected more from what it looked like, you know? Let's give this a go. It, it's good. This is good. A little spice, but it's got an array of flavors. Like, it has onions, it has veggies. It has shrimp, it has peppers, and it's and when you do a combination bite, it's just like a whole array of flavors. Mmm. This is the move. Mm. Let's ask this man. Excuse me. What is what is this? This is the shrimp uh, babab or something like that? Uh, yeah, bibimbap. I don't know if it's a shrimp or the... It's just a shrimp one. So what's it called? Shrimp bibimbap. Bibimbap? Yeah. Interesting. So this is the seafood bibimbap. It literally has different kinds of seafood in here. I don't know what this is, but it's just a bunch of different seafood. Very delicious. I think I should be eating it with a spoon though, so I can really get the the rice. I think we got to give this a go. We got to really experience this soup right here. All right, let's put some bowls. So the, the one thing is, we didn't really get like a thing to like do it. I mean, did well, she just kind of scoop it? Well, she said that if we need the bowls, so I feel like we just communal eat it. Interesting. So Jake and I are just gonna kind of dig into this big soup pot. <laughs> And we're just gonna try the ramen. I feel like so, your elbow's really in my face this whole time. You know what I feel I mean, like? This is Jake Taylor's channel. <laughs> no one asked you to come sit over here on my side of the booth. Give it a first go. Ooh. She's burning me, third degree. Oh yeah, don't don't slobber back in there. Maybe we should have the bowls for a reason, you know? Noodles just kind of taste like a couple of noodles. Really? But like, they have the same texture. Like, look at them. Oh, this is how you do it. You kind of just serve the yourself. Broth, the broth tastes like, like Mexican soup. Like mom's, like mom's chicken, what does she call it? Pozole? No, she puts the chicken in it. Uh, sopa de bondiga? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like that. All my life I've been eating food, so I just feel like I'm right for this job, you know? I've been eating food for 23 years. What better person to judge the food than someone who's been eating food for 23 years? If you can relate, smash the thumbs up button on this video right now. If you don't eat, go to a different channel. <laughs> no, actually stay here, watch stay us. Stay here, watch us. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a full bite of like, just basically everything in one bite. Ramen's very good. Definitely tastes just like a cup of noodle soup that you can get for 99 cents. So I'm paying $20 for this soup, I believe, probably. It's good, it's got a lot of flavor. The kick is nice. You put it in your mouth, you swallow it, and it's like, it feels just like warmth, and then a punch in the throat with spice. Yeah. Like the spice really sticks in your throat, and you just kind of like, can really taste all the flavors, and it kind of can feel it through your nose. You know, you feel it come out, and it's like, it's actually pretty good. They call me dragon for a reason. I slay these hoes. <laughs> Taste the sauce by itself. I really like this. First bite, I was kind of like iffy, but it's actually really good. The ramen's really good. Like to be honest, like next time I get sick, instead of asking for chicken noodle soup, I'm gonna get ramen. I'm gonna come and get ramen. You slurp it. <coughs> it's spicy. <laughs> yeah, man. This is definitely some spicy soup. And the more you eat it, the spicier it gets. I feel like it's not like a thing that you get used to. It's like <sighs> spice is heavy on this. Yeah. I didn't know Korean but it, barbecue but it, was it's spicy. A, it's a spice that like you know like. Sometimes when you rip the toilet paper and you smell your finger and you like have to smell it again. It's like no, that, that is never like happened. That where to you, you sick, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you sick. No, you're off the channel. You okay, kicked off. Let me repeat myself. You know, like when you eat something hot and like you keep eating it because it gets better and better. That's how this tastes. What's wrong with you? Oh, this stuff so hot. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm an honest reviewer. You know what I mean? You know what I really like? What? The beer. What beer is beer? You know? I haven't tried this juice. I have to be honest, man. What I like best is the ramen soup. Like this yeah. is good, but I just feel like this is so good. The ramen's fire. Ramen's fire, fuego. You know what I really like, guys? If you're new to this channel, I really like Korean. Koreans. I really like Koreans. I like K-pop, I like BTS, I like GOT7. You know, I'm a big stan. Like, 
much. Let's get this to 100,000 likes and we'll go to Korea. Ooh, 100,000 likes, we'll go to Korea and we'll try actual Korean barbecue. Yeah, and hang out with them. And you know what? I can maybe get us to hang out with BTS because I'm friends with the Kims and the Kims work with all the mm. K-pop bands. So how about that? 100,000 likes, we'll go to Korea and we'll try to like link up with BTS. If not BTS and the other K-pop band. Yeah, we'll meet up with some kind of K-pop band. we can eat with the K-pop band. Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> Honestly, okay, so when I first tried this, it was good. I'm not liking it that much, though. Like, yeah, ever yeah. since having this, this, it's not, like, this very, it feels very sticky. It feels very, oh, like, whoa. yeah, it's potato soup. Mmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. Is it good? I mean, like, <laughs> I wish, it kind of tastes like Thanksgiving. No like, way. Like, I think all the soup is butter. Butter? Yeah. Let me try this. What do you put in your mouth? Let <laughs> me get this little sip. I don't know, it's like a buttery soup, but it's not like pure butter. Butter. You know? It's really nice, though. It's nice. Like, this is the stuff I want to sip. Potato soup. Who would have known K-pop? I mean, Koreans you know how to do it best. I'm really bad at chopsticks, so please don't roast me in the comments. Yeah, all, both of us are. I can barely grab anything. Yeah, I'm using a soup spoon to eat my rice over here. I hope, yep. This is um, some kind of fish. Mm. You don't want to stick your tongue out like that. Come on, just bite with your cheese. Nasty. People are good. Mm. What kind of fish is that? It's like squid. Mmm, squid. It's chewy. Mm -hmm. Rating the food so far, I'm honestly low fours. Maybe threes. I'm, it's, it's going down. I'm, I'm, it's going I'm down. honestly thinking 3.7. I'm at 3.7 right now. I think the Chinese restaurant So this right here is pure rice, and it's like a it's a sticky ball, which makes me think like either it's supposed to be like this. Someone let me know in the comments that eats uh, Korean food a lot, or this is old rice, and that's gonna affect the rating to me because yeah. I don't like the old rice. I feel like it's very like not good. This has a ton of oil, like leftover. Oh wow! What is that? Yeah, it's like pretty much oil. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing you really do about that. But they cook it in oil, probably. It makes it, it gives it more flavor because it's pretty dry. Mm. I'm a very messy eater, but there it was a famous saying that was from Carlos Jr. that said, "If it's not all over the place, it doesn't belong in your face." I right, just got the check. Guess how much it is. Um. Okay. So let me think. So this was like 17 or something. Like that. 20. 20. Oh, like 60 bucks. I'm saying $20 each. <laughs> it's 59.08. How do you get so close? No way. 16 bucks for this? So that means mine was like 10 bucks. This is pretty affordable. Like, to think about it, we got a lot of food. Like, we got three plates for 60 bucks. We went to, uh, actually, this is kind of like the same thing as the Mexican place. Like, yeah. It's decently priced. So it's got to have two, I mean, I'm guessing two well, we money signs for the Yelp. I'm guessing that now. All right, Korean barbecue, mom. You really said it's to a Korean barbecue? Oh my gosh, how was it? Honestly, it wasn't bad, right, Jake? It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible. Here, let's try to but... set this camera here so Jake can get over here. It wasn't bad. It wasn't wasn't great. But we're going to make our assumptions now before we see it. So it's on the computer. I haven't looked. Jake hasn't looked. But we're going to judge off of food, service, atmosphere, and then our overall of the experience that we had today. So food. I'm going to give the food a... Three out of five stars. I'm gonna give the service 3.5 out of five stars. I'm gonna give the cleanliness of the place 3.5 out of five stars. Overall rating, I'm gonna say uh, probably like a three three star place. I'm gonna give it a three star. I thought the food was was pretty good. It was pretty good uh, compared to like cheap Korean barbecue places. It's pretty good. Yeah, but I've also I've had Korean barbecue that was better. That's my thing. You okay, know what I mean? Yeah, so like yeah, that's yeah. how I'm judging. I'm gonna give the food like a 3.5. The soup was really good. Soup was bomb. Um, atmosphere, I mean it was kind of like a 2.5. Like mm. it was cool, it was cute, but like they didn't have like lights on yeah. in the place. Like they're trying to save that power, you know? Yeah. Well, when I chose that, it said it's known for its ramen soup. Oh, Did you think yeah. so ramen was good. Yes, that's what we the had. That's, was that's what we were talking about. But we asked her and she didn't say ramen at all. She didn't say, oh, she did say ramen, but she. But at the end. At the end, when we we're like, what did people really she said want? spicy here? pork, and that's what we ordered. And that wasn't good. Oh, my God. Overall, I'll give it a four star. Four star. Two four money star. signs. Two, yeah, I definitely said two money signs because yeah. it was like the same price as, as the Mexican food. All right, so. <laughs> With that being said, I'm saying a three star, Jake's saying a four star. Let's see who's right. Drum roll, please. Give us the, give us the full rating, 
one. It is a four star. Wow! Yeah. It takes better than this than I am. It Jesus. is a too many signs. Too many yeah. signs. So I did get that because I did say that in the restaurant. Yeah. There's, there's proof of that. I'm guessing too Ooh, many yeah. signs for the Yelp. I'm guessing that now. And it has 438 reviews. Okay, so with that so, being said, let's read some of the reviews. Let's see what people are actually saying. Let's see if anyone agreed with what we said. And uh, yeah, let's go off of that. So here's a three star verified. Some would call it run down, but I think it goes with the name. The inside looks like an old diner decked mm -hmm. out with Korean decor and someone's Korean grandma runs. Yes, mm -hmm. but the place is called Grandma Kim's or something like it's, that. It, it's very, it was very grandma like. It was very yeah. old. It was, yeah, it, it's, yeah, yeah. so like, yes. Service was prompt but not very friendly. I can agree to that. Like, the, the girl was nice, but she wasn't like overly like trying to get us to be no. like, this is a good place, it's you know what I mean? Place. Yeah. Uh, the soup was okay. I felt like it was lacking some sort of flavor. And that's kind of like what it was. Like, I felt like a lot of the food had good spices, but it was very bland in flavor. Yeah, like that pork was just... It was, it was just whatever. It didn't have the only thing that I can really say that I loved at this place that I would maybe go back just to order would be the ramen. Yeah, but it was just a cup of noodle soup. Noodles. It was. But, but it was Tasty. It was tasty. And here's another one. Three star check in. As the other reviewers have mentioned, this place needs a little revamping, especially the seats. Uh, uh, well, oh, they actually, were doing the seats. They were revamping oh. the seats yeah, while we were in there. New seats and in. this was just in November, so, so they listened. They listened to their Yelp reviews, which is good. You know, like yeah. it, it yeah. says that they care about their people. Um, price is reasonable for Korean food. It always seems like all Korean barbecue places are about the same price, around $15 to $20 plates. That's kind of what it was. Mm -hmm. I thought it was very affordable, definitely, because we did order a lot of food today. It was only 50 bucks. And we had leftovers. And we have leftovers. And two beers. We got drunk. You guys had beer without yeah. me? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I need to go to this <laughs> next time. Okay, here's a two-star. I would not order delivery here again. First time I ordered delivery, they did not give me my side dish. I paid over $200 worth of food and did not wow. receive any side dishes. Second time I ordered delivery, I called to make sure that they remembered the side dishes. And so it was delivered with all the fixings. But now the food had plastic bits inside the soup. Ooh, the plastic was probably from the container because it arrived melted and caved in from the heat of the soup. Uh, so like, I mean, it's kind of an accident. I mean, not like. I mean, I feel like if you ordered it there, that probably wouldn't happen. Right. You know. But with that being said, that wraps up this guess that rating video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and it was definitely highly requested that I did this. So I'm just trying to give you guys what you guys want. Let me know in the comments below what you want to see next. If you like this series and you want to see me keep doing it, or you want to just see me go to the best reviewed and the worst reviewed places, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the thumbs up button, and as always, join the Taylor family by hitting the subscribe button, turning on post notifications so you never miss post. Pick up some merch. BrandonTaylor.com. We got all the merch that you can need. Go check it out and go stream my songs on Spotify. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. You guys, I smell the beer off your breast. Are you? Off my breast? Why are you smelling my breast, Mom? <laughs> you should not be smelling my breast right now. <laughs>